ってね Many people are hurting today. Many people are outraged. Many people don't know what to do with the rage and the hurt. And so we come together today to do the one thing that we know can heal the hearts of many. and bring love back to the table for when we pray when we meditate together it has been shown scientifically to reduce violence in the areas prayed for and prayed in and meditated in and we're going to do a special kind of prayer and meditation today We are going to be calling in the light. And the light when it comes to us, when it fills us. It is the light of the most high. It is the highest vibration we can achieve. It is how we anchor beauty and goodness back in the world. It is how we invite the angels of the most high to minister to those who are lost in fury and outrage in contempt of one another in endless cycles of pain and abuse and misery we can now reach out to our brothers and sisters through our hearts through our souls through our clear intentions for the will of the most high to bring love back into our midst midst so now let us join together as we call in the light of the most high you will feel this light you will feel this love first as it will extend from you to each and every person you are connected to to everyone around you to everyone you choose to focus it on and this healing immaculate light works miracles in this world as this group who has been doing this work with me has seen many many times and so we invite you now to participate in this holy immaculate work take a moment close your eyes really feel the possibility of healing I'm going to guide you through a series of processes today that will lift your consciousness into the holy light. And as you lift your consciousness into the holy light, the holy light will surge through you. So breathe easy. And let go of everything that troubles you for a moment. we're going to focus on that light just above your head that radiant circle of light that sits on your head like a crown 
like a halo, for that is what it is. And this light, the more you focus on it, on it, the stronger it becomes. When this light allows you to call on the angels of the Most High, high, high to call on your Creator, Creator, the source of all love and goodness, to call on this light that loves you so much, so much, so much. For everything that you long for in your heart, everything you feel you need or that the world needs is available to you through this light. For the love of your creator is vast. The love of your creator is relentless. And the love of your creator is reflected in this world as everything you need. Everything you've hoped for, everything you've longed for. And so it is this that we'll be calling upon today. As we reflect on what's going on in the United States and throughout the world today, so many people are hurting. So many people are filled with uncontrollable feelings of rage and desperation. And so we now as light bearers are going to be calling upon the holy light and the angels of the most high to work through us and with us to help heal the situation with your eyes closed Focus again on that holy light just above your head. That light is immaculate. That resplendent, dizzying light that circles just above your head. That halo of light is a portal. And as you peer through this portal, you are open to the heavenly realm, the kingdom of heaven, and the light of heaven is able to pour through this halo and wash over you. Through this portal, we are able to call on St. Michael the Archangel and all the angels of the Most High and the Holy Light to be with us now. And the Holy Light is with us now. And the angels of the Most High are with us now and they are cleansing your heart and soul of any darkness, any anger, any frustration, any fury, any outrage, and replacing all of that with the love fortified with the power of justice. 
But when love and justice are united in your heart and in your soul, it unleashes a power unstoppable in this world. And now this power of love surges through your heart and extends to every soul you are connected to. And through those souls extends to every soul they are connected to. And you are doing the holy work now of anchoring the holy light and the love of God in this world and in the hearts of all of those whom you touch. Now take a moment and reflect on the world as you would have it be, as you would like to see it. The world doesn't have to be this way, the way we've seen it in the news, the way we've seen it on social media, the way we've seen it with our eyes in the streets. All of the injustice, all of the outrage, all of the violence, it doesn't have to be this way. If we can just call in that holy light to work miracles through us and to bring in the infinite love of our creator into the world. For what the world needs right now is more love. It's just not enough love to go around. And you are a conduit for that love. And that love can surge through you and bless all of the world. take a moment here just to get all of our buttons working for our live stream you can stay in a prayerful state if you choose all right Michelle are you able to unmute yourself Yes. All right. Ooh, that was good. I would just want to say keep going because it's keep the energy is really good. Yeah. Okay. Really good. All right. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. Here we go. Actually, before we keep going, I just want to say a thing or two about the language that I may use during this healing service, as we call in the light, and what we're really seeking to accomplish here. Now, there are many people from all walks of life and all kinds of belief systems gathering together to do this work, and the work is to call in the light. The work is really to raise our resonance so that we are in resonance with heaven. And what I mean by heaven is the highest, highest place achievable by our consciousness. Now we can pray for things and we can use law of attraction to have things. Um, we can meditate 
and clear our minds, uh, to bring in peace. All of that is available for us. But there is another level of spiritual work and spiritual power available to us. And that next level is to bring your consciousness in resonance with the Most High. Why focus on beautiful, positive outcomes that are limited when you can seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all else will be added on to you? The kingdom of heaven is the Most High. Now, if you come from Buddhism or uh, any other spiritual tradition, it's okay. There's always, there's always the Buddha, the Most High, the highest, re- re- the highest resonance, right? Um, we are looking for Satori, for enlightenment, for the Most High. Why ask for anything less? Because when you ask for the Most High and when you come into resonance with the Most High, then everything else beneath that is available to you. But not only that, everything else beneath that that you don't want is removed and replaced with the most beautiful possible outcome. So, it's good to visualize things that you want, but it's better to open your eyes to the Most High, to Heaven, to see that to witness that, to let that be shown to you and to come into resonance with that because then from there whole other levels of love and joy can be accepted and experienced and brought into this world. We can literally make this earth like heaven by continuing to focus on heaven or enlightenment or satori or whatever you want to call the most high. But we're going for the most high. Now, I want to say a thing or two about the words I use. I try to be inclusive with the words I use, but often when I'm overly inclusive in terms of the lingo, the, 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 the actual syntax of the words I use, Sometimes it robs me of the feeling that I am working to conjure in the, in the, you will notice that the tone of my voice and the spirit of what's coming through my voice are, it's not, um, it, that's more important than the actual words even. Okay. And, uh, and so I'm going to give you a metaphor. Think about saying my child, right? You know, this will work particularly good for parents. If you're not a parent, um, substitute this with someone you love okay or uh, uh, or your pet or your someone you really adore okay now you can say that person I really adore <laughs> or you can say their name so when I say Johnny or Ava those are my children's names I feel a deep connection to love in my heart and so those if I want to feel that connection and, and give you that feeling of love, those are the words I need to use to express the love for your child, right? So now when I'm expressing love and communion with the Most High, I'm going to use words that, are, that work for me, okay? And you can translate those words into words that work for you. So if the words I use, you go, oh, that's, that sounds to that, this, that, or the other thing. And chances are you might say it sounds to Catholic because that's how I was brought up as Catholic. And so, <laughs> so I might use words that sound kind of Catholic, right? But you can, those can be translated into Buddhist words or Hindu words or whatever, or whatever words work for you. Um, you know, I, I've, I've been... Like when I say old soul, that can mean bodhisattva, bodhisattva, right? And that just means like the soul that chooses to stay here and do the work in the world to bring other souls up into the, up into enlightenment. When I say heaven, um, nirvana could be replaced with that, right? Um, but I'm going to use words like holy mother. What is that? You know, that could be Gaia for you. That could be, um, you know, divine feminine for you, right? Uh, but just go with it. I might say Mother Mary, right? Like, 
That's a Catholic version of the divine feminine. Just go with it, right? I'm just saying go with it. If I say Christ, right? Christ means the, to, in my heart, Christ means the creation, like the one undivided child of the creator that we all are part of, that we all are part of, that we are, okay? So some might call it Christ consciousness, um, but I don't feel like that conjures it for me. So just know, I'm going to use these words. They're real for me, and that's what makes them powerful. And whatever is real for you and whatever works for you, you can just translate those, okay? Because we're not trying to preach anything on you here. We're just trying to reach the most high. All right. <laughs> now, after that interlude, we can get busy because <laughs> we might be calling on the Holy Mother here. <laughs> All right. Buckle up. Here we go. Right now, it appears there is not enough love to go around. So it is upon us to channel more love into this world. And as we call on this love, the love will fill our hearts and radiate through our souls. For there is an infinite love available to each of us. It is the love of the Most High. And it is conjured, conjured, conjured through our invitation. For love does not come uninvited. Love will not force itself on you. Love will not violate your free will. To live without it in isolation. Bereft of the infinite love and left to make do with your limited mortal love. So let us now call on the infinite love of the Most High, the love of our Creator, the love of the Holy Father and the Holy Mother. These are the parts in us that know where we come from that understand the nature of our own souls, that understand the power of the love that lives within us, just waiting to be called upon for the kingdom of heaven is in your heart, waiting be invited to surge through you with radiant light and radiant love. And so, let us call on the holy light and love right now. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and all gentle beings. Blessed is your Son, Jesus, the Son of God. Holy Mary, Mother of God, be with us now. Guide us to the holy light. Pray that we may live in truth, clarity and peace. May your grace and love be with us at all times. Blessed Virgin Mary, in God's grace, Guide us to live fully in love, forever onwards. Amen. My child. Heaven is your inheritance. It is there for the asking. Just ask for it more. Just invite it in. Just let it be.
imagine now all of those who have been out in the streets, who have been pleading for justice, 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 or for understanding and forgiveness, for love, for vengeance. And let us imagine, 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 imagine that suddenly, suddenly a great spirit, a great spirit Shuts all the power off. All of the lights go down. And there is some hollering, 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 and some shrieking, 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 shrieking. But then a Holy Spirit washes through everyone, everyone, everyone. The great gust of wind, 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 and the clouds part, 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 part. And there is stillness. And in the stillness, people begin to look up into the heavens, and they notice the stars as their eyes adjust to this perfect darkness, allowing them to see the amazing light of a sky full of stars, all beaming down all reminding us of another realm that we are all riding on the spaceship that travels through the galaxy, this pale blue dot in the western spiral of a galaxy as we travel through space, infinite space together and that is what makes this space bearable is each other and the stars seem to be speaking to you and they are saying child you are loved you are loved and you are not alone we beam our love to you all night and day. You simply can't see us. You simply have forgotten from where you come. And we stand in awe and astonishment of the majesty of creation it shines on all of us. We're about to share with you a process that was shared with me out under those stars last October. And this process was given to me, believe it or not, by an archangel named Michael, who had been appearing to me for a little over a year. I had asked St. Michael the Archangel back in October, what did the world need? And he answered me that we need to pray. that we need to pray because prayer is the conduit of love. When we aren't inviting the love 
of our Creator in. We are alone. And we are left to deal with the limited attention and energy and love we have in our limited hearts and bodies because we're cut off from infinite love. We're cut off from the infinite love of our creator, our source, the source of all love and light. But we're only cut off through our own free will because we were given free will and free will stipulates that all the love of the universe is available for the asking, but you must ask first. You must invite that love in. All the well-being, all the joy, Heaven is available for the asking, but you must ask first. You must invite it in, for heaven will not violate your free will. Love will not violate your free will. The holy light will not violate your free will. And prayer, prayer is how you invite that light in. Prayer is how you do the asking. But we're not asking for things. We're not asking for particular situations. Let's leave that up to the divine intelligence. Instead, instead let us ask for heaven. Let us ask for the most beautiful outcome one that transcends even our own understanding that when we reach, we will reach in astonishment and overflowing gratitude at the miracles that have been done for us. Now out under those stars on that fateful night last October, I asked St. Michael, to show me what we needed to do next. And he showed me this most powerful process that I'm about to share with you. And this process, when I did it the first time with just one soul, I was overwhelmed with love for that soul. And I was overwhelmed with the power of the light and what it could do for that soul. For I was shown how to lift that soul into the light of heaven. And that soul was someone close to me. And as I staggered away, exhausted and electrified by that process, I said to St. Michael the Archangel, Holy Christ! That was an exorcism. And St. Michael said to me, you're not wrong. And so this next process is a great healing. It is an exorcism of sorts, but it's not the spooky kind of exorcism you see in the movies. It is a beautiful lifting of souls out of the darkness into the light and it is incredibly powerful. As every one of the members of this Miracles course who you can see around me in the Zoom thing will attest. But yesterday as we tried to do this work for those involved in this crisis right now in the streets, we also recognize that we would like your help in doing this process. So, before we begin the process, before we begin the process, um, 
I'm going to just ask Michelle if, uh, if there's anything that I'm that I should be aware of or <laughs> no this is ah oh, it's so good each prayer is moving on with the next one expanding and everyone's quiet which is mean everyone is clicked in and praying so I'm just right. this is good we have a lot okay. of um Bill did say there's a lot more viewers today so yes we invited some some new people <laughs> to join us all right so I really appreciate you joining us the work we're doing here um, you have no idea how, well, you know what, Michelle, what I would love for you to share, mm -hmm. because I was just about to say how powerful this work is that we're doing, but maybe yeah, you have a, a unique perspective on it because you had a, your gifted psychic friend actually take a look. Michelle joined us just how long ago? A, a couple months? Uh, it was March, middle okay. of March. I started right before we started, um, every night and I've basically been here every night. Um, it's really, really powerful work. And I've had miracles happen in my own life. Um, really, you know, small miracles, big miracles. Um, the best thing, and we've been talking about this is that, um, I'm full of so much more love and even my children are like, you're so much nicer. <laughs> so, you know, it, that's it. Like when you are emanating love, you're just attracting heaven. And I love that you said that tonight. Don't ask for things just ask for heaven because it's going to change you and work on you and grow. And so when I did check in with my friend who is um, a seer, uh, she was overwhelmed with the light that we were moving. And it's because she would go in and check in and she'd come out in tears and say, oh my, oh my gosh, well, we have to be careful because I want to stay in this light. And, you know, it gets, she's like, we're going to get distracted by this. She said, you all are moving you're nudging us towards enlightenment, towards the next thing. And when she asked me, she said, how many people are in this group? And I said, oh, maybe 30. She said, oh my God, it feels like thousands, like 50,000. Like it just, the light we were bringing was so big. And so, I mean, imagine what we can do. If we have 30 people, imagine what we can do with thousands. So, um, and I feel it tonight. I feel a lot of people with us. And uh, we're about to do something really big, really big. Mm -hmm. So right I'm on. excited. Right on. Um, right. So I should prepare you. Uh, this next process is what I think we can give most of the credit um, for the light that we were bringing in when when uh, Michelle says, you know, her friend who was a seer, and her friend was you, Michelle. You just asked your friend to. Your friend looks out for you and make sure you don't get sucked into some nonsense, right? Like that's why yeah. she's checking in. <laughs> she wanted to check in with you specifically to make sure. And she said, oh, he's amazing. He, no ego. Like he's really cares about humanity. Um, yeah. So she just, she had no, she never heard of you, never heard of the group, anything. So she yeah. just clicked in to see what it was all about. But what she saw was this incredible light that, um, and, and I will refer to St. Michael the Archangel a great deal because he's um, pretty much, he and Christ uh, are in charge of this process in my, in my heart, okay? But like I, he's managing it. St. Michael the Archangel are, is managing it. Um, and, uh, and he said to me when uh, we began this that there were uh, many legions of angels that would be doing this work with us so that's possibly where the fifty thousand uh comes from or it's possible that this particular process that he gave um us to do like it just conjures this incredible amount of light and not only does it conjure the light with us and for us it's actually bringing that light to those who need it who are the focus of this process so the other thing you ought to know, just because we really do have gotten pretty far out <laughs> with with this work, it's just taking us on a journey that I I never expected us to, to be going where we're we're going. It's it's blowing my mind as uh, as we, as we go on this journey. Um, one of the things that was given us just a week or two ago was uh, to make this process even more powerful. We have now invited in the souls of those we love in the afterlife. Uh, and they are helping with this process. So we are all praying together and doing this process that St. Michael has given us. And by the way, just in case you don't know 
uh, St. Michael's history, he is the archangel who, uh, he's the heroic protector of the kingdom of heaven. Um, he is the top angel. And not only that, but um, in, in the Catholic faith, uh, when they do exorcisms, it's, it's his name they call upon, him and the, and the Blessed Mother. Uh, so guy knows how to do an exorcism, I guess. And this is the, a modern day kind of exorcism, which is just beautiful and graceful. It's not, not spooky, not scary, not, you know, fo overly focused on the darkness. It's really focused on the light but it lifts souls out of the darkness into the light. And that's, that's what we're going to be doing. And again, you will be, uh, during this process, invited to invite in loved ones that you might not have seen in a while because they might have already passed away, transitioned. Um, but they're there waiting for you on the other side. And actually, we've been amazed at how willing they are to help us lift souls into the light through this process. So... I know, sounds far out, but you don't knock it till you tried it. So here we go. You can try it. <laughs> All right. Um, first, we're going to do just a, a quick prayer uh, to prepare us for this. And then um, and then we'll dive. Right. No? Do you want me to do that? No. Oh, we're diving right in. Yes, we're diving right into it, folks. Okay, here we go. We're diving right into it. I, uh, I have to take my direction from uh, Holy Spirit and St. Michael, so... That's what they're telling me. All right. All right, so buckle up, close your eyes, and away we go. First, call to mind all of the souls who've been affected by this injustice. full of hurt and full of rage. And let us add to that all the souls of those who have also perpetrated this injustice because they need to be lifted out of the darkness too. That's a lot of souls. Now look for the divine spark in all of these souls. As you start to see the divine sparks shining in them through their hearts, you realize how many hundreds of millions of souls are involved. And we look at them all across. And it looks like a sky full of stars. We now We now call on the Archangel, St. Michael, and the Holy Spirit to protect us in this process. And now witness for the light in these souls as we call in our loved ones from the afterlife to help us. Oof. And the light is growing, oh, and your loved ones are all around you, and they're so happy to see you, and they're so happy to be invited back into your presence right now. But there is darkness that we must contend with. So, reach out to these souls whom we are praying for now. Take hold of them. And as you take hold of these souls, you can feel their weight. But we're all in this together. We're all doing this together. It's not on you, okay? We've got the angels of the Most High are being called in to help us. And your loved ones from the other side are helping too. And Archangel St. Michael, help us. Holy Spirit, help us. And you can feel the weight of these souls pulling down on you. 
like quicksand. They are sinking in the darkness, and the darkness has its grips on them. All of the fear, all of the anger, all of the outrage, all of the separation, all of the need for vengeance, all of the sick addiction to abuse. Some of these souls just want to watch the world burn. But that is not them, that is the darkness speaking. So we call on the angels of the Most High to be with us. And those of you who have such affinity with heaven that you can just whoosh up into the heavenly realm, please do so now, because we will need you to reach down and lift us. And now we are lifting all of these souls together. And the darkness is beginning to lose its grip on them, but it is strong. So just hold on to these souls with all your might because we have mighty companions swooping in. The angels of the Most High are rushing in beneath us. And they are taking a toroidal formation, an infinite formation of lifting us up. And the sword of St. Michael is cutting the binds of darkness, releasing these souls from the darkness they have been anchored in. And we are beginning to climb now. We are climbing into the light of heaven, and the light of heaven is shining down on us now. And we are rising faster and faster like a buoy from the dark depths of the ocean up to the great light of the surface. And this is the surface of heaven, the gateway to heaven and the light of heaven is dissolving all of the darkness now. And we are lifting these souls up now into the arms of heaven, into the hands of Christ. And our work here is done for a moment and now we are sealing this work with our final benediction let the words wash over you and translate if you need to Holy host above, I call upon thee as servant of Christ to sanctify our actions in fulfillment of the will of God. Holy, holy host above, I call upon thee as servant of Christ to sanctify our actions in fulfillment of the will God. I call upon the great Archangel Michael, heroic protector of the kingdom of heaven, to open the way for this to be done. I call upon the great Archangel Raphael, master of air and healing, healing of the heart, to open the way for this to be done. I call upon the great Archangel Gabriel, master of healing communication and the voice of God to open the way for this to be done. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit now descend that these beings we have prayed for may be awakened to the world beyond the life of this earth. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit now descend that we may be awakened to the world beyond the life of this earth. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit now descend, that all beings may be awakened to the world beyond the life of this earth and infuse us with the love of Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, we ask that you receive these children into your arms that they might find safety from this crisis. Oh Lord,
Lord Jesus Christ, we ask that you receive us into your arms that we all might find safety from any crisis. For as you have told us, let not your heart be troubled. For in my Father's house are many mansions, and I have prepared a place for you. Let not your heart be troubled. For in my Father's house are many mansions, and I have prepared a beautiful place for you. Let not your heart be troubled. For in my Father's house are many mansions, and I have prepared the most glorious place for you. So let it be done. mind anything that weighs heavy on your soul anything that burdens your heart anything that afflicts your mind or your body any anger any fear any outrage any separation any resentment any guilt, any fear, anything that divides you from heaven. We gather all of this up and we lift it into the hands of the Lord and we ask for redemption over our lives, over our hearts, over our souls, over the life of this earth. By this sign, you are anointed with the grace of the atonement of Jesus Christ. You are absolved of all past error and free to take your place in the world he has prepared for us. For this is the kingdom of heaven, and it is yours. Amen. All right, well, this concludes our service for today. We do this every day at 7 p.m. New York time, so exactly the same time it started today, it will start tomorrow. And we pray with each other, and we pray for each other and for the world. We lift each other into the light, and we lift all the souls who we feel need it up into the light. And if you feel called to this work, please return here tomorrow at 7 p.m. New York time. And if you want to join us in the deeper work, we do that inside miraclescourse.com. If you want to find us at 7 p.m. New York time, that's always embedded. The live stream is always embedded on the homepage of miraclescourse.com. So you can always find us there. And again, if you want to join us in the deeper work that we do after this, which will probably be going on for the next couple hours, um, you can go inside miraclescourse.com for that. All right, please come back. Please invite any friends or family or anyone you know who would have an affinity for this kind of work, this kind of prayer, this kind of calling in the light. <clears throat> and join us again, 7 p.m. New York time, same time as today, tomorrow. And the uh, video will always be live streamed through the homepage of miraclescourse.com, so you can always find us there. All right, God bless you, and God be with you.